Hey guys, welcome back. This is I'm the Blur. We're going to do a first impressions video of Gran Turismo Sport. This is the first time I've loaded up the game, so it'll be something brand new. Whatever. Let's just play here. Only where I'm online, of course. There's a lot of settings here. It's like, dude, I just want to play the game. Getting a total Jurassic Park vibe from this. This is a great intro video. Look at all the beautiful cars in this game. I can't wait to race all these, it's gonna be beautiful. Now let's see if it'll actually let me play. Looks like I want a computer. <laughs> so it looks like it's only gonna let me do an arcade. Yeah, it's only gonna let me do an arcade. I guess let's do the single race and see what it says. I love the ocean. Let's do one of these seaside ones. Let's pick this one.
All right, now what car should we pick? I think we're gonna pick this Mustang here. That Valvoline white paint scheme. It's like that the only choice we get. We'll do intermediate. That's getting obnoxious. Remember in the old days when you could just put in a game and start up and have to wait 45 minutes for some? Let's see what it says here for that. Yeah, 67 minutes. The hell with that. Let's just do a race. That's a good sound. Well, it really takes. Let's just do a race, come on. Apparently it's telling us to break. It's auto breaking for me, that's annoying. Gonna have to mess with some of the settings. Ooh, we got in the rumble strip there. Right up on this Hyundai's bumper. Let's cut down the hill here. Oh, he body slammed me. Screw you, dude. Grew a little loose off that turn. Got a hell of a lot of speed coming down this chute, though. is not quite as responsive as I was hoping. Why do I feel like we're at Monaco right now? Could really use without the assist on the break-in. Get out of the way, Bugatti. aggressive and that Lambo blocked me. Let's power right by him here. So final lap. Took us about 210 there. 
It's a good turn that time. Damn this auto braking. Got on the rumble strip again on this other Mustang. The visuals are beautiful though. I'll definitely give it that. Do another race here with a different car and without assists on. Normally I'm a big Forza guy, so this is a change for me for sure. Let off a little bit through there. Oh, sand trap. We didn't actually lose that much time, weirdly. Don't think we're gonna win though, because we're only in fourth. Uh, here's the part that feels like Monaco. This game feels a little bit like a, an old style racing video game. Doesn't feel as encapturing as Forza does. So there's our finish. Six seconds faster on our second lap. But only in third. So... We're gonna mess with the settings and then pick a different ride. So... Let's go again. Maybe I can mess with the settings out here. It's really interesting to see all this. Okay, here we got the options. All the controllers you can use. Okay, apparently that doesn't matter. Let's try doing this again, but uh... We'll do Seaside 2 this time, we'll do Sunset, and let's see if I can modify the settings. Pick something other than the Mustang. That Audi is pretty beautiful. This Jag looks pretty awesome, let's pick that. Let's try Professional and see what happens. Yeah, we get it. Okay. That's gonna take an hour to load this one too. So I'll give Gran Turismo, it has a beautiful presentation. But as of right now, I'm not sure if it's better than Forza. Of course, I gotta wait an hour to download, so. Okay, come on. All right, here we go. Let's mess with the driving options. Automatic, rear, hard, hard, okay. Assist. Won't let me do custom, probably because I'm offline. Auto, let's turn that off. Counter steering, yeah. Alright, let's try and see what I do this time. We're gonna have more horsepower this time.
Oh, look at all that speed. Oh, we gotta slam on the brakes. Get out of the way, Viper. Gotta get used to the handling of different games. Like Forza is not as responsive as Project Cars, which clearly this game is a little bit different. Not to mention I got these three idiots in front of me. Pushing this Austin Martin down the, <laughs> down the straightaway. Oh my god, get out of the way guys. Oh, now we're gonna be in the wreck. So I'm assuming those little purple ticks are the line. Oh, we're in the gravel trap and I'm totally abusing these guys. Probably didn't have to let off there. Feel the horsepower now. I haven't figured out when I can floor it and stuff yet, quite. Again, this is just my first impressions on the arcade level. Wow, guys in this game are really annoying. I do love the sound of the car. Ooh. Not running this quite the line that I'm supposed to. Guy like stopped in the turn. And they like to block. I like that little downturn there. Not have to let off quite there. So up to fourth. I actually think this game might be a little easier to drive than Forza. Of course I have the settings a little messed up and I'm not sure what the right settings are yet, especially for me. The leaders must be a mile ahead. I gotta figure out how I'm gonna turn. Okay, that's how you look back. Same as Forza. Wow, the leaders are miles ahead of me. Probably a good thing I have stability control on.
Doesn't actually want me to use the brakes that much in this game. Oh, just cut that off. Oh, we jumping in the dirt. So third, our second lap won't be as good, or will be our better lap. So third is where we'll come in. It's, uh, this weird interface still, I'm confused. So I can't do any of this yet, unfortunately. So we'll have to do a second video uh, looking at what things look like. Let's do Northern Isle Speedway. Looks like it's like Martinsville or Bristol. Let's see what type of... they have like a NASCAR version or what? Do definitely want to race the cars I've been racing in there. Yeah, I only have these sets of cars to click through apparently. Well... Something that won't get me destroyed. Let's pick this Nissan GTR. And let's go with the silver. We'll pick intermediate again, just cause. Yeah, we know. I do love the sound that it makes there. So yeah, this looks totally like Bristol or Martinsville. Go back into our options again, make sure everything is the same, it is. Let's start. Oh, this is a very interesting track. Ooh, we're already gonna hit the wall. Just letting off. Ride the cushion! Wow, guys, come on. Well, that wants to jerk straight up to the wall. <laughs> totally just destroyed that guy in accident. We got 10 laps here. Wow, you cannot take the turns well. Okay. Everyone's running a group here. I'm gonna wreck another guy. With beautiful cars. Not really sure what happened there. So I'm not actually braking, I'm just kind of letting off and kind of coasting around the turn. Then I get on the gas a little bit and get back. It wants to jerk straight up to the wall though. And it's definitely a Bristol type track. Wasn't as fast of a lap for us. Ooh, somebody's sparking. That's kind of a cool animation.
kind of just diamonding these turns. Oh, dude. There's a charger. Get by him. I'm not sure if that's me making all that noise or it's them. The tire screeching. So, two laps left. Clearly, this track is too easy for me and the settings I have on. I do like how they give you all your lap times on the sign, that's kind of cool. Alright, there's the finish. Our first win on any of these. Okie doke. He's gonna watch me be a dick, so let's just not. Let's see, how much longer do I got? Fifty-six freaking minutes. Okay, anyways. Let's do one more. Let's do one of these dirt ones. Uh, go to Colorado Lake 2. And we'll do Sunrise since I haven't done it yet. And then let's pick a rally car. Oh, look at that focus. Lancer and Subaru. I'll just pick the focus since... I'm a Ford guy, but I do like that Lancer a lot. And the other one. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's getting annoying. There's only two of us? Okay. Well, I haven't played rally racing in a long time, so... It's a beautiful car. Let's see what rally racing's like in this game. It's only got to beat one guy, but can I do it? Ooh! Ooh. Oh my god. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I am all over the road. Clearly, I'm not used to rally racing. Alright, let's go again. Come on. Ew! Does this thing not have reverse? Oh, what the fuck? Okay, rally racing is probably not something for me. I go into the bushes, it looks like. Holy god. That guy is years ahead of me. Well, Ford's never going to want me to drive for them again. Clearly when I play this game, I'm going to have to do rallies on the easy mode. Final lap here. Oh, I 
apparently I bumped the curve. <laughs> this is going to be a terrible... There's a tree. Thing that says Colorado Springs look like it could crush me. It's been so long since I did rally racing. We're talking like the original one on Xbox. Ooh, get some major air off that turn. It's gonna reset me again, yep. Yep, wave that green flag there, buddy. Oh, in the mud. Oh, my rally skills are bad. Oh. <laughs> Sad thing is I can actually see that guy a little bit. There we go, that was a rough race. So I was 18 seconds behind the other guy, ouch. Alright, well, I think that might be it. So they have other stuff on here you can try, I don't have virtual reality. Custom race. But I think since I'm offline, I can't do any tracks than what I've already showed you guys. I got Nurburg and a couple good tracks in here. Suzuka. Blue Moon Bay, that's interesting. Brown's Hatch. Well. That's about it, guys. Once it uh, loads up, I'll bring you another video with my full of everything. Until then, thanks for tuning in. This has been I'm the Blur.